your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your words and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Luke chapter 22. Luke chapter 22, verse 42. You can start from verse 39, but because of time, let me just go directly to the point. 22. This is our Savior. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. If you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. 43. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. Take note of that. This is where I want to pick, you know, the title. 44. And being anguished, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like a drop of blood falling to the ground. 45. When he rose from the prayer and went back to his disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. 46. Why are you sleeping? He asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fell into temptation. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let me start with the, this word. The power of spiritual what? Prayer. The power of what? Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. The power of spiritual what? You can pray with your voice. You can shout on top of your voice. As long as it is not spiritual, you are just making noise or telling the people who can hear you that you are praying. Prayer is not the language of human beings. It is the language of the Holy Spirit. It is the way of communicating with your creator. The power of spiritual prayer always brings answers. Religious prayer does not bring answers. It is a program. Spiritual prayer is a communication. The way you call people, then if you dial a number that you know, you are calling your mom or your daddy, you are asking your father to send money to give you something. Your father will answer, yes. Yes, my son or my daughter. Daddy, I want this. Your father will send money to you. The power of spiritual prayer always brings solution or answers. This is Easter period, and I want to introduce this message to you. The life of Jesus is not a traditional life. It is a spiritual life. Let me call you before I take you there, so that you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. Let me carry you now. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. This is before Jesus was, you know, arrested. Jesus was more of the spiritual life than of this flesh. He could feel the pain even before these people bounced on him. He could feel what is going to happen in the next few hours.
But it was more of, you know, spiritual life than this flesh. He was not talking to the heir. He was talking to his father inside his heart. I like this message. When you are sleeping, your heart will never what? Sleep. When you are sleeping, your heart will never sleep. It will keep on, you know, <clears throat> pumping, pumping, 24-7. From the day you came to this life, your heart has been pumping, pumping, pumping. This is why God chose your heart, not the flesh. When your heart is pumping, it is God inside you, working, 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 boom, boom, boom. So Jesus was communicating with his father within his heart, spiritually. He could feel that pain. He could see that things would be bad in the next few hours. But this is the prayer that he prayed. Take note of that. Where God, you know, guides, he always provides. The Bible says in 43, an angel from heaven appeared to strengthen him. When you are praying, the presence of God must be there. To strengthen you spiritually. Not to pay attention to the pain in the flesh. But to be more focused on your spiritual life than what you are going through. Because the answer is just around the corner. Are you there? The angel, I'm standing here. Preaching. If it is not in the presence of God, I'm just sharing you with you history. Your problems, my problem, cannot be answered by this man or yourself. It is the angel of God to appear for them to collect your problem and take it to your father. Jesus prayed and the angel appeared from heaven to strengthen him. There he become, you know, more powerful than the pain in the flesh. The way we celebrate Easter and the purpose of Easter is not the same. Don't forget that even the Pharisees, they used to celebrate the Passover and yet they could not recognize that this is the man Jesus, the Messiah. Even today there are Pharisees who are busy confessing Christ in the name of what? Celebrating Easter, whatever. But when it comes to the presence of God Almighty, I don't know. God knows. That is traditional way of celebrating the things of God. We are not celebrating. We are benefiting. How? My sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. You are restored. I am restored. The presence of God is always with me. Because I am the partakers. You are the partakers. People of this world can celebrate, but for you, you are the partakers. You are the partakers. Are you there? When you are praying and God answered your prayer, the angel must appear to strengthen you, to carry your message. Any living church or any believer. As I am talking to you, God knows your problem. He knows my problem. He knows your problem. He will stand beside you to hear from your heart. If truly your heart is busy calling Jesus, calling Jesus. This is why you see, even when you are preaching, you see people manifesting. Because the angel will appear to strengthen you the way they strengthen Jesus. And don't forget that Jesus came to introduce what? Spiritual worshippers, not religious people. Spiritual what? Worshippers. How? By making sure that the Spirit of God is in you, not to allow you again to go back to that sinful life. Before now, people were calling the book and busy committing what? Sin. 
This Bible cannot, you know, restrict you not to commit sin. No. It's a record if the, the presence of God is not there. Are you there? And being anguish, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was like drops of blood falling on the ground. And when he rose from the prayer and went back to his disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. People of this world, they always, you know, being carried away by what they are going through. But a spiritual man, a spiritual human, does not focus on, on the situation, but on what is in his heart or her heart. Because but to him, he was looking up to his father. His communication and the father was more than what he was going through. If not, Jesus could say, Our ah, father, I think I am not ready to face this again. But he said, let your will be done. Not my will, but your will be done. And the angel appeared immediately. When you pray, the one who answers prayer must be present. The spirit of the living God must be present. Angels must be present. Traditional people, they don't understand this. This is why, you know, Satan is very much happy. You can talk about the record of Jesus. Jesus walked on the water. Jesus did. But demonst Jesus demonstrated his power that I did not come here to preach the way you are preaching. I have come here to introduce spiritual worshipers. That's what he came for. Hmm. Let me finish this one. If, when you leave this place, you, 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 because of time, you can read... Matthew 26, verse 40, you find the same thing in the Gethsemane. But for me, this one is enough for you. This is 46. Why are you sleeping? He asked them. Get up and pray so that you not fall into temptation. You know, attacks are always coming in the night when you are sleeping. When you are sleeping, that's when attacks will come. Because as long as the Spirit of God is not in you, the one which was in Jesus, when you are sleeping, it's like you are dead. The door is open to afflict you. If you read the, the, the other book that I gave, Jesus said, the Spirit is willing, but the flesh is what? It's weak. Everyone is willing to be a child of God. But it is not through your senses. It is by the Spirit of God. This is my message to you. I don't want to, because we are having this program starting from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm just introducing this message. The power of what? Spiritual prayer. Spiritual prayer is the language from above. It is not your voice. Pharisees were celebrating the Passover, but they could not acknowledge or recognize that this is the Messiah. Even today, people are championing this. Uh, Easter, you know, traditionally, doesn't mean that they are representing the will of God. Those who are celebrating this Easter spiritually, they are the ones who are the partakers. As long as you are not led by the Spirit of God, remember that even the elders, the chief priests, they used to carry the law, the book of the law, where everything was written, but they could not acknowledge or recognize this is the Messiah. Instead, they stood against him. Even today, it is real. No one can say, I am the righteous one. No. The Bible said that you shall know them by their fruits. As long as the Spirit of God is in you, whether you agree or not, your conscience is always telling you that you, you are just a religious person. You are not 
a spiritual what? Leader. Spiritual leaders are being guided by the Holy Spirit. They don't do things according to their senses or titles. No. You'll be guided by the Holy Spirit. Last Sunday was Palm Sunday. Are we, you know, satisfied with what, you know, we are celebrating Palm Sunday and the Easter? If the answer is no, think twice. Jesus entered Jerusalem. It doesn't mean that we continue singing the same song when you enter Jerusalem. Our Jerusalem now is our heart. As much as we appreciate for the record, we need to acknowledge that Jesus will never enter Jerusalem again physically. It is now our heart. And that victory which was shown in Jerusalem will be shown now to the enemy of salvation, evil spirit and Satan himself, that there's someone who has entered my life today. And you'll be, you know, surprised that, ah, this is the person I've been turning, you know, left, right, and center. Now I could not even touch the body. Why? He has entered me. He's in me. He will continue living in me. That is Palm Sunday we need to celebrate. I am not saying cutting the trees is wrong, but we need to do more than what we are doing physically. He will never enter Jerusalem. And some of us will never be, you know, to Jerusalem. Celebrate this man by denouncing Satan and reject his activities in your life. That is the meaning of this. He came to introduce the spiritual worshippers who will not be influenced by these fleshly things, but the Spirit of God in them. Are you there? When he was praying, the way you are praying because of your situation, my problem is not your problem. Your problem is not the problem of your sister or your brother. You have your own, I have my own. But I need to draw his attention through my heart. He was praying because he, he, he realized that in the next few hours, I'll be in trouble. Let me talk to my father. The disciples were there. And he left them. He went to pray alone. He did not depend on the number of people following him. No. His father's support was enough for him to overcome the devil. He went to pray alone. And the angel appeared to him. To do what? To strengthen him. Spiritually. When you are strong spiritually, even physically you'll be strong. Who appeared to strengthen you? Hmm? Is there anyone you see strengthening you? No one. Sometimes when you share your problem with these uh, so-called friends, they will call it everywhere. <laughs> it is only God Almighty who can you know, give you that life. A victorious what? Life. Those who are mocking you, as long as the angels appeared to you and strengthened you, you'll be laughing. You feel good of what you are going through. Because you know that uh, my name is, is Victor, not victim. My name is what? Mm -hmm. So think about this. We have been celebrating Easter. Every year is what? Easter. Easter. What are the benefits of Easter? People of this world will be drinking beer, involved in whatever evil activities. Yours is to the most, I mean, demonstrate the power of God in your life. People must see the light. Witches and wizards must know that, ah, this man is in this person again. Don't go to church because of what? Position. Or maybe if you die today, they will take you to church. Okay, they will finish the service. What about where you are going? Are they conducting the same service for you? Hmm? Jesus was more of his spiritual life than the respect here on earth. Now, you know Chibokolo, As long as you are not going to be a man, you are not going to be a We like so much respect from people. This is why Satan is, you know, feeling good. Praise the Lord. When you are praying, who is supposed to appear? 
Hmm? Is it Python? Hmm? Is it your tears? The angels must what? To do what? To strengthen you. Don't mind your situation. You are very close to the victory. Don't mind what people are saying about you. You are very close to the victory. The whole entire seat was against this man, Jesus. But he could not, you know, pay attention to whatever. He was more to his father. This is my message for you this Easter period. Let us celebrate this Easter by believing in his word and his spirit. And to show the world that Jesus lives on. His power is at work in us. Religiously cannot bring him to your situation. It is spiritual people who can attract him. The disciples were with Jesus following him, but they could not understand or perceive the presence of God. Only him. The same way. So where you are standing, forget about who is next to you. Let the Spirit of God be there for you. Let the Holy Spirit who understand your pain be there for you. Your husband, your, your wife, your children, they cannot understand what you are going through. Are you there? May the angel of the Lord God Almighty appear in your situation, in your dreams, in your house, in your business, to strengthen you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There are certain things that you want to stop, but you could not. You have been trying to say, I want to stop this, I want to stop. When you pray earnestly to God Almighty, He will send His angels to come and strengthen you so that you overcome that bad habit or that weakness. May the Spirit of the Living God continue strengthening you. May the power of his word be in your heart 24-7. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Continue. Even in your dream, you need to continue praying. When you are sleeping, the way your heart is pumping, the way that you know you, you spoke before you close your eyes, let the, the way the heart pumping, boom, boom, boom. If you declare it, the Holy Spirit or the fire from the throne of mercy or the blood of Jesus, let that word, the way the heart is pumping, boom, boom, the power of the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost. You are sleeping, but your heart is pumping. It's like the heart is shouting, Holy Ghost, what? Fire, fire. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you.